What is the biggest thing that a developer fears? It's not women, it's not sales, it's algorithms. And honestly, I've been developing for over a year now, and whenever it comes to algorithms, although I understand it to some extent, it's always been a problem of mine. I'd always try to remind myself that I need to get better at it because it does make you a lot better developer, but I never got around to actually improving at it. And so what we will be doing today is trying to do leak code for four days straight and trying to see our end results. And so on our first day, I honestly felt a little cocky going into it. We signed up for lead code and we started doing the basic first few problems in the easy section. And right from the get-go, dude, I was struggling hard because in my mind, I'm a developer. I've built applications, but I've never dealt with programming strictly from an algorithmic viewpoint. You know what I mean? And so now this is the fucking first problem. We're so fucked. And I think because I got too comfortable with ChatGPT giving me answers on algorithms, asking right away on Stack Overflow and Googling the answers right away without truly understanding what algorithms is, it put me in a very bad position. And if the first one was bad, but we needed a lot of help, the second question of the day was even worse. And at this point, I kind of realized how bad my problem solving skills were. But you know what? I kept my head down. I kept working. I tried to stay positive because I kind of was expecting it to be difficult, although not that difficult. And as we did our third, fourth and fifth problem of the day, we started to get the hang of things. And although I still needed the help of the solutions that they have and the Google questions and everything that I like doing my research, the basic approach I took on solving these problems was not focusing too much on how to code, but rather how to problem solve. Like the only way I was allowed to do research on Google or ChatGPT or Stack Overflow was if it was something to do with programming. And I think this was the big benefit as we were going through the problems. And honestly, I was really looking forward to the next day. Again, I know how to do stuff. I know how some shit works but in programming i will use i'm using some of these but not entirely and like it's very weird to use it as, like as the main focus I'm talking about algorithms so definitely something to think about and hopefully tomorrow we'll do a lot more problem sets but yeah we made some you know not bad sort of bad but got a lot better by the end of the day but yeah i'm gonna leave it there on to the next day now day two was a lot better for sure than day one here we started getting used to the process of trying to solve the problem first by just writing notes and laying out everything we needed to solve the problem and i noticed although my programming wasn't up to par with the answers there was a lot of times where my problem solution was perfect and again it was really cool to just not code for the sake of building something but rather for the sake of problem solving i've always neglected lead code like that because i always thought it was dumb approaching it like this focusing on the problem not the actual code really just helped me approach programming the right way when i was coding later in the day honestly i felt like today was 10 20 times better than yesterday i just noticed that personally with just how i was thinking and how I was solving problems maybe the problems are a lot easier as we do more hopefully in these next two to three days we'll get better so yeah and so when day three came around i was firstly in a lot better position i was no longer nervous i was no longer in a bad mood i was no longer freaking out i was just a lot more comfortable with approaching the problem and although the only main thing i struggled with in terms of algorithms was tree nodes and like the nodes i couldn't grasp that too well i was trying to understand it and when i was understanding it obviously i was looking up the answers and getting a detailed explanation of why we wrote the code and algorithms in that way and that is a really good thing because one of the most clutch things we did in this challenge is reading a book called a common sense guide to algorithms and data structures. You see in day one, two, and three, although I was problem solving, I was getting better at problem solving. I didn't understand what the algorithms we were using, why we were doing things a certain way and how to do it the correct way. And what this book allowed me to do, I read a little bit of it. I read around like 20 pages. It just put everything into perspective of the what. I think I just learned something that's pretty obvious, but I just wanted to share. In this section, they're just talking about like the main purpose of arrays. And he's kind of explaining just exactly exactly the things you do to arrays and he's basically saying that with arrays you're either reading deleting searching through it or inserting data that's really i don't know why i just felt like talking about that maybe a little bit dumb but i feel like it's a pretty obvious thing that i just neglected or at least i knew about and i do but I never really thought about it, you know what I mean? For example, now I knew what big O notation was. I knew about arrays, which I already knew about, but I never really got a comprehensive, like detailed explanation of it. And you know, by now I felt like I was ready to take it up a notch and I was really ready to do more leak code. I was ready to do harder questions. And so when day four came around, which is right now, a pretty bad thing happened. You see, I felt really, really, really ill and I wasn't really able to do as much work as I could have. I'm so sick today. And and just by a string of luck, it's our last day. So what can we do about it? It's fine. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> I feel like 
feel like shit. Oh my god. But day four was the best day yet. Not only was my coding improving, not only had the book helped me a lot from the night before, but I started looking at the problems I was solving from firstly an algorithmic perspective and then a code perspective. I wasn't just looking at a problem that they were asking me to do and saying, how can I solve this with code? I was asking myself, what algorithm should I use here and how should I approach this problem? And then coding based off what the algorithms that we were thinking of using. And I honestly think this is the biggest selling point of leak code and, you know, studying algorithms what the hell did I just say? Algorithms and data structures. But getting that humbling on day one and trying to force myself to approach programming a lot better while also being humbled with the actual algorithms that we were trying to solve just gave me that extra boost. And I honestly felt it when I was programming without lead code. Like I was developing a soccer match predictor. I used some algorithms in there and I, you know, I did it the right way. But with the new skills that we have, I hopefully continue to use lead code every day. I was able to fix the algorithms to be a lot more efficient, take less steps and really just try to make my code better if you know what I mean. And yeah, that's where we stand today. Again, this was a very interesting experiment. I can't believe I've neglected leak code up until this point. I know it's for companies, like you, you do it to get better at solving quad problems, but I don't want to work at a company. So I never really saw the point in that. But this honestly just gave me a whole new perspective on programming. And I feel so dumb for neglecting algorithms up until this point. So if you're a web developer and you haven't studied in specific how to do algorithms and data structures, do it because it's one thing to know about it, which I was doing, but it's another to really study it and know of it. Please, if you like the video, then like and subscribe. I'm literally, I mean, I'm about to sleep. I, I feel like shit. I suffered for you. So the least you can do is just like and subscribe. It honestly really, really go a long way. And we also have a learning platform with a bunch of free stuff. So if you want to build stuff and learn a lot more about programming with more stuff about algorithms coming soon, then I'll leave it down below. Also check out the Discord if you're interested in a group of like-minded individuals. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.